have the all new Cobia 350cc. Uh, this is an in stock boat for us. White hull, black metal work, black under the T top, triple black three, 300 Yamahas. This thing will run almost 70 miles an hour in comfort with air conditioning, seating everywhere, refrigerator in the leaning post, really cool boat. Let's climb up and take a quick look at it. So starting up in the bow of the Cobia 350cc, you can really start to see the blend of fishing and family features that this boat offers. So starting up here, underneath of this hatch, we have a Lumar windlass with a raw water wash down in there so you can hose sand muck debris off your anchor before you stow it. Front and center here we have a pop-up nav light, two bow cleats that are also pop-up, four kite rod holders in the bow here. Coming after that we have cup holders that are placed, I should say, perfectly to hand if you're sitting here utilizing the flip out bow backrest. Bow backrests fold and store and they are actually removable. They completely come out and there's storage for them down inside the console. Really, really nice feature. Behind this backrest we have our bow table operation. This boat has a bow table that can come up and stop at cushion level and create a big day bed up here or all the way up to a table. As we come around to the Chase Lounge, Nice padded cushion here with backrest and armrests. This whole thing lifts up on an actuator. And inside of here we have two coolers that are insulated very well. You can see them sweating there. This is a redesign for this year. This used to have a removable cooler in the front. I like this a lot better. It gives you a lot more console room. As we move aft down the side of the boat, we have two JL Audio M770, M6770 speakers in the kick panels there, two more up top here, forward spreader lights, courtesy lights in the hard top. As we come back, we have our first of four massive fish boxes in this boat. As you can see, this goes back a good ways and is pretty deep. That lips and twists and latches. Again, macerated goes directly overboard. Nothing goes back into the bilge on this boat. Right behind here, we have another fish box, even bigger. Goes way forward there. Nice, nice size. Again, very well insulated and again macerated for direct overboard pump out. Coming around to the command station on this boat, we have three LeBrock leaning post seats. These have fold down bolsters. They're all adjustable. And the two outside ones have armrests that flip up and down and lock. Coming around to the dash, this boat features the Garmin Master Electronic Suite. That's a glass helm, dual 8616s, 1KW through haul chirp sounder, another through haul GT51 down view, side view sounder. So this has every bit of sonar technology you could really want. Front and center here, we have our Yamaha CY7 gauge. This is the gauge for the Yamahas. This tells you everything you want to know about the Yamaha outboards on this boat. Right below that, we have our Garmin Reactor GHP20 autopilot. And then below that, our Optimus 360 gauge. This boat is joystick ready, though it is not currently equipped. As we come all the way over here, we have a VHF 215 with AIS from Garmin. We have an air conditioning vent. That's right, this boat has air conditioning and heat at the console. Coming over one from there, we have our upgraded Edson Special Ops black steering wheel. This is a tilt helm. Over from there, we have our windlass control, followed by our three push to start buttons, and our Yamaha key switch right here. Coming one to the right of there, we have our Yamaha triple engine digital binnacle control. Three individual trims there, a joint trim on the side, and our engine selector there. Lenko trim tabs on this boat with indicators. Another air conditioning vent there. And then under this cover is a JL Audio Media Master M100 head unit which is paired to an 800 watt, eight channel amp, and eight uh, JL Audio speakers. Really, really nice sound from the factory. All of our switch gear runs along there, high water alarm, 
This boat really thought of everything. At your knees here, we have a glove box. Inside this glove box, we have our USB for our JL and a 12 volt receptacle right there for charging things, operating a spotlight, things of that nature. Another little storage cubby right here. Four cup holders at the helm, two on either side. Coming around the back side here, a couple things. We have a fold down footrest with stanchions for support. So if you're sitting here, you can rest your feet and you don't feel like a toddler. And then this whole panel lifts down and comes out very easily. I love this feature on this boat to expose all six of our Group 31 gel cell AGM batteries. Everything in here is labeled. All the wiring is labeled so you know exactly where everything goes back. There are two battery chargers in this boat to maintain everything. Over on this side, we have our inverter for our refrigerator and the leaning post. Super, super nice layout. You're going to love this. Really, really nice. Really convenient to use. That lifts, drops back in there, and latches. Coming up this side, and down into the amazing console on this boat. This is really where the redesign takes shape. So down inside of here, we have loads of storage behind, behind me. We have more storage down here, more drawers at the bottom here. Toilet back here. We have a sink, we have our battery switch panel right here with all of our breakers, all of our switches right there, easy to get to. Domatech air conditioning control right there. And then my favorite feature on this boat, 110% underneath of this seat. If you fish on center consoles in a marina, you never have a place to store your rods where they're safe and secure and out of the weather. This boat thought of that. The bed on this boat lifts up, and underneath of there we have rod storage for up to six rods. The bed is plenty big enough for me. Again, I'm six foot tall. I can lay down here comfortably, but if you are taller, they thought of you too. And this guy here drops in as an extension to the bed. Climbing back up here, moving aft, we again have another in-deck fish box right here. Again drains overboard on a macerator. Coming after that we have one of our two fuel fills, there's one on either side on this boat, only one central tank. Another in-deck fish box here. We have under gunnel rod storage there, along with a raw water wash down receptacle right there. Coming around the back side of the leaning post on this boat. We have a sink, fresh water right here. We have a cooler right here. Below that, we have our Plano tackle box storage, knife and plier rack right there, two drawer storage units there and there, and a Domatech refrigerator right there. More knife and plier storage above that. Moving to the back of the boat, inside of here we have our pressurized live well system as well as all of our electrical connections, very easy to get to. Behind that, we have our fold down rear seat. And then this entire panel comes up and gives you amazing bilge access. I look behind this door, we have our three Yamaha fuel water separators, easy to access, easy to get to right there. We have a freshwater washdown receptacle right here. 
And then we have our side entry door. Side entry door lifts back, folds over, and opens. This boat has a drop-in ladder that clips into those two chrome pieces here for easy boarding at the sandbar. Coming around this side of the leading post, a couple more things. We have a built-in EPIRB or fire extinguisher mount inside of that door. We have our rear hatch controls. It's all electric on an actuator. And then below that, we have our charging receptacles right there and right there. Simply plug the cord in and charge the boat up. Additionally, as we come to the stern of this boat, you can see our three custom painted black Yamaha outboards. These are all 300s. Optimus electric steering. This boat will run almost 70 miles an hour. It's absolutely amazing how well this thing performs. We have dual live wells, one on each side here. This boat has a Garmin 424 open array radar, 18 foot outriggers. You name it, it has it. It's ready to go offshore and ready to carry you wherever you want to go safely, comfortly, and quickly. I'm Zach Smith from Route 113 Boat Sales. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you want to see us film next. Thanks, guys.